Hello everyone and welcome to a new video of the JavaFX8 tutorial. In today's video we will be about the list view. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so here we are in the slide and well we have this interface, user interface example in order to explain the list view. More specifically, specifically we're going to learn how to use these two list views here. So we have important lines of code that we're going to review in NetBeans. The first one is here that we are using the list view in order to create the, the object, the list view object. And also we have observable list, which is the one that will uh, contain the, uh, the information of the list view. We are using an observable array list in order to do this. And we're going to review this in more detail in the next video. And so then we have the set items method for the list view. Uh, which helps to define or the, to take the observable list okay, in order to display this uh, information in the list view. We also can set the orientation of the list view with the set orientation method. And here's the important part. We need to use the selection model of the list view okay, in order to get all the information about the items that are selected in the list view at a specific time. Okay, we have this get selection model method, and inside of it, then we call we can call these four uh, methods: get selected item and get selected index for singular selection, and get selected items and this get selected uh, indices for multiple selection. Okay. Also, we have get focus model, which will return the information of the element. That has the focus at a specific time. Okay, I'm not including this in the video because it's easy to understand and it works the same as these four uh, methods. Okay, you only need to replace get selection model for replace for get focus model. Okay, replace this uh, method and then call these two methods here. So let's go to NetBeans in order to explain this. So here we are in NetBeans, and well, this is the code that I'm using in order to to create the interface. Okay, and well, I want to I'm gonna share a link with you guys uh, in the description of this video, so you can download the code and take a look at it and analyze it. Okay, so first of all, I want to show you the final result. Okay, this is the application running, and well, the idea behind this application is uh, that uh, the user uh, is able to select uh, if the this list view here uh, select if it is its selection mode is single or multiple. Single means that only one item can be selected at a time, and multiple means that uh, one or more items can be selected at a time. Okay, so the user needs to select select one of these two options here. And then select one or more options here in this uh, of these animals. And when the user uh, hit the bottom show, the animals that were selected or the animal that was selected will appear here in this text node. Okay, the index and the item will appear here. Okay, uh, so that's the idea in this interface. So let's go to the code in order to show you how to create these list views. Okay, so well, we have a root node, we have a text node. This one will show the, the selected items. And here's the important part, okay, that we have here the list view for the animals, okay? We need the class list view, and then we need to tell uh, the code that uh, the type of the, of the items that will contain uh, the list view. In this case, we need string. This is the time, the type. Okay, so it will be a list, list view of strings. And then we have to create a observable list as well, it, uh, which will be, will be receiving a string uh, components, a string uh, items. And then we're going to use uh, JavaFX collections with this FX collections. And then we are going to use observable array list. And inside of it, we're going to add an array or of strings, okay, because this is the type of the of the array. Okay, I'm not gonna explain this uh, in more detail in this video. I'm gonna do it in the next video, so you know you can use it as it is in in, in if you need it. Okay.
So let's focus on the list view. Okay, so once we have created the content of the list view with this observable list, okay, and the list view, we need to you know set the items for the list view. So we use the object list animals and then with the method set items we pass the observable list that we have created okay with the information and this will automatically populate the list view with the with the items as you can see here okay so the advantage here by using the observable list is that uh, uh, if you change the, the observable list it will update the list view automatically. Okay, we don't need to refresh the, the list view. Okay, well, we are going to talk about in more detail uh, in the next video. Okay, so then, uh, well, we are, you know, working with the with the layouts, and then we are creating another list view, which is this one, um, this one here with the with the selection mode. Okay, here is the list view, and again, we are pass, uh, we're using strings inside our list view, so we use the string type here, uh, and then we are able to set the orientation of the list view here uh, by using this set orientation method and passing uh, horizontal or vertical. Okay, we have two types. We have here this is an horizontal list view. As you can see how they are aligned, they are arranged, and this is a vertical list view. Okay, so we have the possibility to do that as well. Again, we're creating an observable list here, okay, which uh, contains uh, uh, strings, the same way as the as the previous uh, list, and then we are you know adding the items to the list view with the method set items here. Okay, and passing this new observable list. Okay, well, that's how you create the list, the list view. Okay, in this case, uh, there's no need to use always strings. You can use uh, numbers or another uh, type of of things. Uh, even if they are another nodes, I mean shapes or another uh, controls. It can be they can be added to the list view, but that's a more advanced uh, feature of the list view that we are not going to review uh, in this video. Okay. So the important thing thing here is to add a listener, like we are doing here, to the uh, selected item property of the of the of this list view here, because one uh, when we select one of the other. Uh, options here, single or multiple. The selection mode of this needs to change. So this is a we need to add a listener when this property uh, changes. Okay. So when we want to work with the selection uh, item, the selected items inside list view, we always need to use the get selection model. Okay. The get selection model uh, is um, uh, always contain uh, the all the items that are selected in the in the list view. So you will always need to use it. Okay. So we have the list view here, the list mode. We are going to get the selection model, and inside of it we have this property, which is the selected item property. We are adding a listener, a change listener to this property. Okay. So when the uh, selection changes, something will happen. And, and here is the, the logic. Okay, if the user select single, okay, we are going to set the selection mode, okay, to single by using this line of code. We are getting the selection model, and with this method set selection mode, with this one here, we pass this value selection mode, and then with the value single. Okay, we only have two values. Okay. So in, in in the other the other option here, in the other option is selected multiple. We are using the same line of, same line of code, same method, but we're passing the multiple value here. Okay, so that's how you change 
the selection mode of a list view. Okay. Then we have this uh, button here, which is, is the one that will pass the values to this text node. Okay. And I want to show you what happens when you press the button. Okay. If we don't have anything selected in this list view here, this is the 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 text that we get. Select a list view selection mode. Okay, so we need to select a list view selection mode. Okay, so I will select single. Okay, in this case, this list view only have a single selection mode, and I cannot select more than one at a time. Okay. And if I select multiple, I can select one or two, three, or all of them. Okay, so that's how it, it works. The listener works. Okay, then we have here the, the easy button, and when we press it, we are gonna add uh, in the set on action method. We are going to add an event handler, and when and the first thing that it, it does is that it will check. If the list mode uh, here, this one here, is empty or not, okay, is selected or not, and how do we do that? We use the selection model as well, and we have a method called is empty. A function called is empty. Uh, it will return true if there is not uh, if there is no item selected, or it will return false if, if something is selected. Okay, in this case. Uh, if nothing is selected, when we are, you know, setting the text of this text node to select a list view selection mode. Okay, it's like a, a warning. If one of them is selected, we're going to here, and then we need to check if this uh, this uh, list view here uh, has something selected. If not, and we are using the same is empty method as you can see if not we're gonna get this message here select an animal okay because we don't have the information selected okay if something is selected then we're adding the logic to get the, the, the information okay so I'm gonna show you okay I select a single selection mode for this list view I'm selecting cat and then while well, I'm getting the index and uh, and the and the item here which is cat okay and the same with lion okay remember that, that the index will always begin uh, start on zero okay zero is the the first element okay okay and this is uh, uh, another uh, line of code, important line of code Okay, see if this uh, mode, selection mode, is single, then we're gonna get the index with this line of code. We're using the list view animals, then we're getting the selection model, and then we use the get selected index. It will return the number or the index of the element that is selected, and then we're adding also to the string. Uh, the the item the item is the in this case is a string as well and we're using the get selection model then get selected item okay and that's why you can see here the the item here that was selected the string okay that's those are the lines of code that we use to get a single element okay if uh, if the selection mode is multiple that means that I can get more than one element selected here so I'm gonna select them three of them and I can see all the items here as well okay with this number with this index okay so how do we do that we are going here and we are well, say, uh, creating a string an empty string and then we're using an observable list to get the items that were selected okay uh, so here is the line of code list animals which is a list view then get, get selection model and then we use get selected items okay it's just the plural of the of 
the, the one here, which is get selected item. Okay, so we're gonna get uh, an array, an array again of strings, and when we can use a for in order to to go through through it. Okay, so here in this line of code, we're using a for, and then here we are adding uh, all the elements to the to the string. Okay, we're using the the observable list, and we are getting the index of this specific element. Okay, here we are returning the, the index, and then we are just adding the O is the you know the text that we get in this in this observable list. Okay, and we are setting the text of this node here. Okay, so the important thing here is learn how to get the selected items. Okay, I'm using observable list here, and this uh, array of, of, of strings contains the selected items in the list view. This line here is important thing to learn. Okay, and finally, well, we are just clearing the selection. We are, have the possibility to do that with the list view and get selection model as well. We are going to clear the selection. Okay, so every time we click on this button, the selection will okay uh, will be will be clear, or and uh, you know uh, there will be no item selected. Okay, so that's it uh, for the list view. I hope you find this useful, and see you next time. Thank you for watching this video, and please don't miss the next one because we're going to review uh, JavaFX collection. So please like, subscribe, and share, and see you next time.